I'm walking with the word and never read Sheffield, and I've been thinking about Matthew 7, verses 24 to 27. Jesus finishes a long section of teaching with a parable that says this. The one who hears my words and does them is like a man who builds a house on a rock and then the storms and the wind come and the house does not fall over. But the one who hears my words and does not do them is like a man who builds a house on the sand and the storms come and the wind and the rain beat against the house and the house falls. Jesus is talking about the words that he's just spoken all the way from the beginning of Matthew 5 all the way up to Matthew chapter 7. Jesus has a long section of teaching talking about relationships, prayer, idolatry, lust, all of these different issues come in and at the end of it he talks about his words and encourages people not just to hear them but to be people who do them and he says that if you do them it's like building on a strong foundation. It's like building your life on a rock. The interesting thing about a foundation is it underpins and undergirds everything else. The foundation is the very first thing that you build when you're building a house. And another thing about foundations is they're not visible once the houses are built. We don't know what the foundations are like. The area that I'm currently walking through has some beautiful big houses and it's easy to look at the houses and think, wow, these houses are impressive, they must be strong. But I don't know that because I can't see the foundations. The foundations are the part that confers strength to the building. And we can do this in the church as well. We can look at people and say, wow, what a big successful ministry. What an amazing family. What an incredible career. And, and we can assume that that means people are strong. But we don't know their foundations. And Jesus challenges us. It's the foundations that make the building stable and the foundation should be the words of Jesus, his teachings and his, his encouragements and his challenges. So spend time focusing on his teaching. Try and make it a foundation in your life and then you'll be strong and stable when the storms come. What are the storms? The storms can come in many, many ways. It could be all sorts of problems, personal, spiritual, relational problems that come in your life and they, they attempt to disarm you and to to destabilize you and to knock you over. And you have these painful conversations where people say, yeah, my life feels like it's falling apart. That's because there's a storm. Both people go through storms in this parable. No one's exempt from the storms. No one avoids the storms. Jesus tells us they will come. And that's why it's so important that we build good foundations into our life so that when the storms do come, we can rest assured that our house will stand up and that we will be safe.